Yeah. Now, if you guys heard about Sonia Massey, yeah, mm-hmm. um, really, really sad story. Um, I'm going to play it. It took me a long time to actually watch this thing. I'm not going to play what mm-hmm. happened to her because mm-hmm. it's it's horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, but there, there, you may see some images from the moment, but nothing from the actual killing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you you have to you have to watch this. Monday afternoon, Sonia Massey's family. Family and civil rights attorney Ben Crump held a news conference to discuss the body camera video that was released earlier in the day. He killed her so senselessly. The only time I'm going to see my baby again is when I leave this world. Crump says you can see in the body camera video, ex-deputy Sean Grayson went out of his way around the counter for a better shot at Massey. Where is the humanity? Where is the training? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus until we get justice for Sonia Massey. We rebuke this discriminatory criminal justice system in the name of Jesus. Massey's father, James Wilburn, had strong words for Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell. The people of Sangamon County have been great, but I want to tell y'all, the sheriff is here is an embarrassment. Because this man should have never had a badge. He should have never had a gun. Mm. He should have never been given the opportunity to kill my child. Wilburn says he's now calling on Sheriff Campbell to resign. Man, I'll answer that one. Yes. Amen. A hundred times. Yes. Amen. And he should do it in the next 12 hours. The civil rights attorney now promising to hold the sheriff's office accountable for the family and the community. We're asking for full transparency on every level, how he was hired, the 911 calls, the communications, all the video, everything. And we won't stop. We ain't satisfied with charges. We won't be satisfied until we get whole justice for Sonia Massey. Yeah, man. All right. Like I said, um, it took me a long time to want to watch this because I yeah. think you put you put it in our group chat. Yeah. And I saw Ciara say, I, I, I wish I didn't see that. And I was yeah. like, well, I'm not watching it. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm not watching yeah. that. Yeah. But I'm like, OK, if we're talking about it, I want to be informed on it because um, this is a very polarizing uh, issue. There's a lot of people starting to pop up arguing that it was justified and all yeah. this kind of stuff. So I'm yeah. like, OK, let me let me watch it and see. Uh, if you don't know what happened here, there was a, a lady, she called Sonia, she called, um, what's interesting is I don't know if she called the police. She, she was on the it. phone, she, she was on the phone with someone else and she was saying, why are you guys not here? So I don't know if they, I don't know who she was on the phone with, but whoever she was on the phone with heard the whole thing because she put the mm-hmm. phone down and she was still on the phone with them. So I don't know if they were, if they sent the wrong people to check it out, but either way, um, there was she she heard somebody around her house so they came they looked around they found her car it was broken glass she said that was from something else and then they were they were interrogating her in a way but she called them so yeah, it was yeah, strange yeah. that they were kept like yeah. what's your name what's your id somehow the guys so you could see all this on illinois state um patrol website or whatever yeah. on on youtube and somehow the first half of it is from the partners the one who didn't shoot yeah, 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 perspective because yeah. the other guy had his camera off what i what i learned is even though his camera was off you could still see his his footage you yeah. just can't hear it so that came later so they they put the partner's footage first and i don't know how he got in her house because he was looking around the side to see because there was a car in her driveway and then when he came back the the guy who shot her was in the house with her asking for id basically you know just i don't know why he was on her so much because she's the Mm -hmm. one that called she was clearly disturbed some sort of way he asked her if she was mentally okay um she said she had just taken medication um that's why that's why i'm assuming she may have called somebody was more of a um wellness person first so that's that's my that's a guess and somehow um they noticed that her water was on on the stove and he told her to turn it off when she went over there, he said something to her. It, it was muffled because, again, you're hearing it from the yeah. other guy's camera. And something he said, I think it was a misunderstanding between the two of them because something he said made her say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. She said, she said um, why are you backing up? 
And he was yeah, like, yeah. he was like, because you got you some got water, water, yeah, water, yeah. water. So he assumed for some reason that and she, she was going to throw, throw it on him, him. Yeah. And, and she was like, "I rebuke you in the name mm, of Jesus." Yeah. Like, why are you assuming that, right? Yeah. And then that's when he got angry. Like yeah. you could, you could, immediately he got angry. I don't yeah. know what she called something out that yeah. was already in <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like he got like beyond necessarily angry at yeah. her and pulled his weapon out. Um, she pours out some of the water in the sink. sink yeah she puts it down and puts her hands up and she says i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry and she ducks down again this is all from the partner's point of view yeah the next thing you see is he's yelling at her and he shoots her yeah they put his camera next from his point of view you do see her get back up and, and throw, throw the water. pot oh, at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. That's why I'm like, I think he's going to get off. Oh. Mm. It's, he had no business going around the counter, yelling at her. Well, he clearly provoked her. I think she was like self-defense mode at that point. Yeah. Yeah. But... I, I I think he's gonna they're gonna figure out a way to get him off on this. Uh, and if you if you see his attitude, I watched all of it. All the way to the end where you mm -hmm. see the partner, the partner knew something went wrong. He went to his car, he was crying, he 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 put his hands on the, the on the back of his car and he was like sobbing and shaking, like you uh, see his hands shaking. He knew something went wrong. The main guy, terrible. He as soon as he shot, he was like the other guy was like, I let me go get my kit. And he was like, "Don't worry about it. I, I hear it in the head. Like I, it was a headshot." No, oh, I thought that was man. the other way around. No, no I thought it, that, that was, was the partner saying, "Don't worry about no, it." No, he, he said that. He said, "Don't worry." He about said, it. "I got her in the head. Don't worry about it." He, she was, she did not die right away. She, okay. she was alive all the way after that, he all the way till they no pulled hit. her out the house. She was still breathing, mm -hmm. oh. and he did not provide any aid. He eventually went to go get his kit. When he came back in, she was dead, they yeah. were they were like, "Is there anything we could do for her?" And he was the other guy was like, "No." He was like, "Well, I'm not wasting my kit." I can't it's a see a terrible oh, I didn't person. See any bro. Of that. I can't see no That's reason nasty. why a man with a gun is going to shoot a woman with a pot, even if it was boiling water in the pot. Yeah, I seen that woman falling to the <clears> ground <throat> in in fear and in panic, and this man opened fire on her like she was arm with a gun like a yeah like, it's I don't it, it, know. what's weird about this guy he knew he was in trouble right away because he came out and i don't know if they got a code but all the, there was a bunch of cops that came to the door and they weren't saying anything they know their cameras are on and they were all like you okay you all right is there somebody here where's the gun like they all thought somebody shot, shot her yeah. or she did it herself he was like, well, no, I, I did it. She, she she tried to throw water on me. And then he started insulting his partner. He started saying all kinds of crazy stuff. He said that she set him up. Oh, no. This dude this dude is wild, so, bro. Like, I don't know how he got to be a police officer. When I saw the angle that you're talking about, I think I saw the angle from the partner's vest. It looked to me like she dropped the water in fear not that she lunged at him with the water but she no, just she dropped did. it and she water flopped if you, if you watch from the guy who shot her's point of view mm. there's a pot neck on the sink yeah and then yeah, you see her get up and do this and then the pot ends up next to his feet like did she even get all the way up she I just she, she just was... lunged up and then he right, shot so her right how away are you even gonna get hit with all the water there's no reason he should have been afraid of water. boiling water what coming at him what happened to the tasers what happened to tasers that's yeah what happened like to like I, I know that's bad too because that makes people like shake and everything but at the same time a gun versus a water what i know how about how i know about, boiling about water this? is hot how about but, this yeah back up yeah, I think, I think she was leave. I think she was dead when he started cussing at her. At no. that point, his anger was oh, over, that's, overtaken. Yeah, yeah, his no, anger was overtaken. he murdered her. Like you yeah. could, he, he, there was no reason for him to go near her. There was no reason for him to be even close enough to be care what about the water. What state is this again? Illinois. Illinois. So here's the thing about the officer, right? He's had two DUI charges already, and he's Jesus. switched. Uh, he switched um, law enforcement offices six different times in four years. Mm -hmm. So he has a history of bad behavior. So I don't think he's going to get off. I think they're going to have to make. I, an if, if, I'll say if this: he does, if he gets off, we got I th another problem. I, th I, th I think. I think what's going to be happening is um, based off with that because I did see that too, which you talked about, mm -hmm. and in my mind, I'm like, at worst, if they don't do murder, manslaughter, Why which the would be step something. In? That's what, yeah, it's two it, it's, it's two police officers yeah, and de-escalate. If the other partner mm -hmm. notices that the situation is getting escalated beyond what it should be, why didn't he step he, in? He, 
he should i i hate this for him because he knew something was wrong you could tell like they they keep his camera on all the way like at least 20 minutes after the shooting and he is like sobbing he knows something went wrong but he should get in trouble bro like he did yeah. not he yeah, shot it too no he didn't no, oh he didn't. oh just the, i thought they both unloaded no 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 uh-uh, okay uh-uh. 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 they both oh. drew weapons oh, okay but he should have de-escalated the other officer when that officer said I'll when he started cussing and saying I'll shoot you in yeah, your face. That's like, hey, bro. That's when he should hey, have been like, out. oh, whoa, whoa, chill out. We're not here for that. She's not a threat he, to us. This Let's has nothing to do with all her. the power, though. You can see that because dude didn't do anything. He was mm-hmm. subdued. He but was, when I heard when I heard the 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 murderer, he was talking to the other officers, knowing he's guilty of sin, because all of them are looking like, you know, they're staring I'm at him like a word. Called her crazy, B and everything. Yeah. Call call her mm-hmm. crazy. Said it was a setup, and then he said. Yeah, the how do I say this in a Christian way? He called her a dip s. Called him a dip mm-hmm. s. Yeah, the dip s in there is um. You know, Are you talking about his partner? Referring to his partner. Wow. Uh, Yo, this dude is terrible, bro. I, I think I do think we have to really clean house when it comes to um who gets to be a police officer and who doesn't. And I think and I think sometimes you, it's it's crazy, kind of like what he was talking about with the sheriff of how the sheriff had this guy out and he had so much like a laundry list like a stuff and I don't know if it's a cop shortage you know what I'm saying of people trying to be police officers or don't want to be police officers but at the same time man you gotta make sure man that weapon getting drawn is like do you, do you think this is a spiritual situation? There's there was no yeah. reason for him to get as angry as he did when she said I rebuke, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Yeah, it was I, like absolutely. It was like something in him like revolted. Yeah. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It was it was unbelievable. Yeah. Didn't she say don't hurt me when they before they came into her house? I didn't wasn't there yeah, a video she where she was like, Don't hurt me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I, I don't. Yeah, I didn't hear that part. But there was no reason. For, first of all, there was no reason for them to go in her house. The the like literally, you see the moment where this went wrong. Yeah, they were done. They were like, we checked everywhere. There's nobody around your house. And they were like, all right, ma'am. And then he, the guy who killed her, said, "Are you okay? Is this? Are you okay mentally?" Yeah. And then that's what extended the the. Yeah. Uh, the oh, situation. when they went in the house and she started getting her he ID extended and all the visit. The visit was over. Wow. Yeah. He extended it because he thought there was something wrong with he her. Had and he tried on to his mind yeah. pretty much. It was some. It, it was terrible. I had to call the police in the middle of the night one night when um, my garage door blew open and the alarm was set. And when they came in, they checked the house, but they also asked me for my ID, right? And I had to like prove that I was the homeowner. Um, so I get that that's routine, but they didn't make me feel like I was being interrogated. They yeah. they interrogated her, you know. Um, it was it was wild. But I'll say this: I think that he is gonna have to. I think he is going to be convicted because when he went through his arraignment, they would not give him release. A bond, yeah, they wouldn't a bond. give him a bond. So that tells me that the judge is already saying, like, no. If he gets this, off, bro, you talk oh, about it. It's going to be a it's problem. Be chaos. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a big, big, big problem. So when, he, when do y'all think the actual court case and all they're gonna push it as far as possible (laughs) (laughs) they're gonna keep this away from the election at all costs this will be next year yeah yeah it'll be next year they're not letting that happen Mm -hmm. man so pray for this situation it is it is bad i just hearing her can you imagine you're hearing this about your daughter first of all this is the part they mentioned in the video that we didn't talk about here they lied to him Mm. first they said it was self-inflicted then they said it was like some other person did it they did not tell her that this guy killed his daughter mm. for for a long. People mm-hmm. are wondering why it took so long yeah. for this yeah, to come that out. Was true. Yeah. They lied to him. They said the cop got just fired now, So the body cam was the only thing that saved us. He's just now him. finding out that this cop killed his daughter. Mm-hmm. That's why he's so angry. They yeah. lied to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they she fired a, the cop already though. Yeah, they did. yeah. yeah. They and did. she has yeah. a two year old, right? I don't know. She's a grown child. son. Now. Yeah, she got two kids. She had two kids. Okay. She's only thirty six. Yeah. What a grown kid. Okay. So, hey I, man. Okay. All I'm saying is this: I this grown, small grown, baby like, in her arms in the graduation. He's like 13, I think. He maybe that was, old. He, maybe he that was old. really tall, but who yeah, knows? 13. I don't. Yeah, know. the photo they put up online was a graduation photo. So, I but I do, but I do time. think it is very disgusting to, like, like when you see people on see people talking about it 
and don't have compassion for yeah. the people. That's that's wrong, man. Like regardless of what your political stance is, having have compassion for somebody dying in a way I know that that about. person died. If anybody get on live, I've seen that. I ain't gonna say nothing. Go ahead. Oh, there's been people. They they been yeah. There's been people. Mr. Tatum. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. a family show. He's, he's um that. he's yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Let's move on from that. Just just pray for them. Pray for the family above anything. Before it gets all political and everything, mm-hmm. the guy's wrong. He should go to you should get the death penalty. He, he murdered that lady. Yeah. The other guy should get a little in trouble too. Because I mean, unfortunately, I, he it was he could have done more. I feel bad for him because he. It happened in front of him, you know, yeah. what I mean? and he's the one that had to keep pressure on her head while she was still oh, alive. Mm. It, that shook him. You could tell that shook him. Yeah. Um. So I feel bad a little bit for him, but I mean, this is your partner. You could have stopped him. Uh, there was about two seconds where you could have stopped him. 